Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat it is so great to be together tonight. This is going to be an evening of celebration and happiness and prayer and song. A couple of quick notes to share. You'll see a, a note to this effect in your Shabbat handout, but just a reminder that um, we feel very strongly that one of the things that makes this place holy is that it's a place that's open and welcoming and hospitable to worshipers of all ages in our temple and in our congregational family. So we want to make sure that your family feels comfortable here. If you're with younger worshipers who might need a break at some point tonight, our children's library will be open. It's a great chance for them to come with uh, an adult companion to spend a little time reading or crawling around. Um, and also, if uh, someone in your family may need a changing table, they are not as it written in your handout tonight on the restrooms in the north foyer, but are instead in the restrooms adjoining the rotunda. So we're so pleased that all of you are here together tonight to help us celebrate, to welcome Shabbat, to welcome this night of Hanukkah, and to install our cantor this evening. Um, if you brought a Hanukkah menorah and some candles, and you want to make your way toward your menorah and those candles, we're going to begin this morning by offering the blessings for the lighting of the Hanukkah lights. So any families that brought your Hanukkah menorahs, come on down, find a light, find a, a lighter, and your grown-up companions will help you light the lights of your menorah.
Ma'osur can be found on page 365 in your prayer book. To add more light to these lights, we'll prepare to kindle the lights of Shabbat. This wonderful weekend of celebration and illumination was made possible through the very hard work of a devoted and wonderful committee of volunteers. I want to invite a few members representing that committee to come up and receive the honor of reading the meditation and the prayer for the lighting of the Shabbat candles. It's a pleasure to invite up Mark Bruckner and Helen Dreyfus. Gloria Prizant and Diane Pouchette to offer the blessing before the lighting of the Shabbat candles. If you will make your way to pages three and then two in your prayer book. As these Shabbat, as these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. O source of light and truth creator of the eternal law of goodness. Help us to find knowledge by which to live. Lead us to take the words we shall speak into our hearts and our lives. Bless, Bless all, all who enter, enter this sanctuary in need. All who bring the offerings of their hearts, may our worship, worship lead us to acts of kindness, peace, 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 and love. And love. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotah, v'tzibah. And now we are going to 
to hear from our amazing volunteer choir the words Hanerot Halalu. And they are in your book if you want to follow along. And they're on page 364. I just want to read you the translation. We kindle these lights for the miracles, the wonders, the deliverances and the wars which you brought for our ancestors in those days at this time of year. This is this youth choir's debut leadership experience. So we're really excited to have them all here.
as we pivot from our candle lighting and beautiful Hanukkah songs and the masterful talent of our choirs, we turn to the liturgical section of our service called Shema Ubiachotecha, meaning the Shema and its blessings. We're reminded that Jewish prayer richly blends the set structure with creativity and soulful intention. We need both the organization and the creativity. Our new cantor, my friend, masterfully models and weds these elements, the keva and the kavana. It is our tremendous fortune to sing, to learn, and to pray with her and all who help to create and enrich our service and community with music and song. We continue on page 28 with the barhu, page 28. Would you all please rise? Barehu et Adonai Hamevorach. Baruch Adonai Hamevorach Leolam Evae. Baruch Adonai Hamevorach Leolam Evae. So it's time for the trumpets. I hope you brought them. <laughs> The words for this setting of Ma'ari Varavim called The Night is Waiting are in your handout. So um, there's so many people here tonight. I think we might need to just do a quick review of our trumpet part just to make sure you all get it. It's really important. So it goes like this. Blah, 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 blah. Let's try that together. Blah, 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 blah. And that happens again, so let's do it again. Okay, listen. Try it. And now we're gonna add on to that with the best part, which goes like this. You have to really love that note, okay? So here we go. Okay, so let's try that from the beginning. Here we go. The light is fading, the night is waiting for you and me. Let's rearrange the stars. The mystery lies in the color of the skies. When the words are on your lips, the sweet The words of Shema can be found on the same sheet. Hear, O Israel, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Baharu Shekivu, Shekivu Maputo.
continue together on page 36. Page 36, you'll find on the top of the page the words to via hafta, and we chant together. Asher anochi mitzalecha, hayom alevavecha, v'shinantam levanecha, v'dibarta ha'am, v'shiltecha v'beitecha, u'lechtecha v'aderech, u'shokbecha u'fkumecha, u'kshartam lehot al yadecha, Page 39. We pray responsively at the top of the page. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot. It is eternally Egypt that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness. That there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands, marching together. Who is like you, Adonai? 
And now we look out at the unknown ahead, a wilderness before us. What will keep us together as we wander through the years, through the generations? Soon after this song of the sea is sung in our Torah, we hear the words of Vishamru. God says, the people of Israel shall keep Shabbat, observing Shabbat throughout the ages as a covenant for all time. Between me, God says, and the people of Israel, Shabbat is a sign for all time. For in six days Adonai made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day God ceased from work and was refreshed. Vayi nafash, nafash like nefesh or soul. God will be resold on Shabbat, and let us too be resold and refreshed on this sacred day. We continue with the Amidah, beginning on page 46. Please rise as you are able. Adonai, sifatai tifta, ufi agitei latecha. Adonai, open up my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu, velohe avoteinu vimoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, velohe Yaakov, Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, velohe Leha, Ael Hagadol Hagibor vehanora, El El Yohun, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekonei hakol, vezocher chaste avot v'imahot, umevi gula livnei v'neihem, leman shemo be'ahava. Melech ozer humoshia humagen, baruch atah Adonai, magen Avraham ve'ezrat Sarah. Atagi bor le'olam Adonai, Mechaye ha kolatarav lehoshia, Mashiv ha ruach humorid ha gashem, Mechalkel ha yim bechesed, 
Please be seated. As we prepare for silent prayer, a poem called The Quiet World by Jeffrey McDaniel. In an effort to get people to look into each other's eyes more and also to appease the mutes, the government has decided to allot each person exactly 167 words per day. When the phone rings, I put it to my ear without saying hello. At the restaurant, I point at chicken noodle soup. I am adjusting well to the new way. Late at night, I call my long-distance lover and proudly say I only used 59 today. I saved the rest for you. And when she does not respond, I know that she has used all of her words up. So I just whisper, I love you, I love you, I love you. 32 and a third times. And then we stay on the line and listen to each other breathe. Now, at the end of the day, we come to the silent part of our Amidah. We take our own moment to speak to our long distance lover, to give God whatever words we have left, or just to whisper, I love you as many times as we can. Or if tonight you find that you have no words to say, this is your time to sit with the line to God open and listen to each other breathe. We take a few moments for silent prayer. Amen. 
we now turn our attention and our intention to those in our lives and in our community who are in need of healing. This Shabbat, we as a community are praying for Misha Berach for healing for Daryl Artis, Bradley Borden, Melba Merman, Emily Carter, Dora Ann Cisneros, Susan Garber, Suzanne Garcia, Judy Gorowitz, Mary Ann Greenfield, Sarah James, Gail Jansen, David Kapiloff, Kap Mark Kasner, Beverly Kovnet, Doug Crone, Ronnie Light, Rebecca Reich, Louis Silverman, Haskell Simon, Royce Ann Sline, Sarah Sch Schnoll, Ira Wadler, Carol Wasserstein, Marcy Weinstein, Roger Williams, Lynn Zimmerman, Hannah Bat Hannah Valebish, Leah Sarah, and Leora Yehudit Bat Persha Bracha. For all these people and the people in our lives, we offer these words of healing. Page 253. Me shebera havotinu Avraham yishaf e'yakob Me shebera imotinu Sararif kalea As we all know by now, the theme of this wonderful weekend of celebration is Let It Shine, which is deeply fitting also thematically for this festival of Hanukkah that we celebrate together every year. Hanukkah, I don't need to tell you, is the celebration of the miraculous. All kinds of miracles we celebrate on Hanukkah, miracles big and small, just the very act of casting light from a candle is itself miraculous. Think about it, it's an act that requires only the most humble of materials, a scrap of cotton, a drop of oil, and from them can dance a flame that warms and brightens a room, 
a family, a community. Tonight we are celebrating and installing an amazing, illuminating cantor who works in precisely that kind of miracle. She is a person who shows us that the people we are and the offerings we bring, no matter how modest or extravagant, can cast a penetrating and astonishing light. And so at this time in our service, I have the honor of welcoming to the Bema a valued teacher and mentor of Cantor Simmons, who has now become a cherished colleague and friend. It is a joy to welcome him here to offer some reflections and to install her as the cantor of this great and historic synagogue. This isn't Cantor Richard Cohn's first time on this Bema. Many of you know him well by now, and it's a terrific feeling to welcome him back after his leadership of our High Holy Day services last year and after he delivered one of our most memorable lectures as part of our annual endowment series. Just a word about his background, about the path that leads him to us this Shabbat Eve. Cantor Cohn has given decades upon decades of service to reform communities across the country, serving synagogues from Chicago to Dallas, having served for six years as the president of the American Conference of Cantors, and having served for the last two and a half years as the director of the Debbie Friedman School of Sacred Music. He is passionate about Jewish prayer that stirs and transforms the worshiper. He is an innovative and creative and deeply faithful composer, arranger, and conductor of Jewish music of all kinds. Cantor Cohn is what it looks like when a faithful, reflective, conscientious religious leader both talks the talk and walks the walk. He takes seriously the practice of spiritual growth as anyone who has learned and sung and prayed with him can see instantly, deeply, and immediately. And so on this night that our congregation lets it shine, it is appropriate and joyful for me to invite the Bima, the cantor who recognized the spark in Cantor Simmons and helped nurture it into the bright, warm glow that all of us can warm ourselves by. Into Richard Cohn. Okay, well, Cantor Simmons, I think this is the part of the evening that's about. <laughs> <laughs> Had to work on that because I just love the whole letter thing. And I, I, I wish I were in the children's choir so that I could have a letter too. So my letter would be the letter R, and we don't have a letter R. For Very well. She'll do without litter. <laughs> What a great joy it is to return to Emmanuel and to join in this celebration of your marvelous, melodious, magnanimous, mellifluous cantor. I didn't even know you were going to do those two M's earlier. So, for those of you who are keeping track, that was one big M word for each light of Hanukkah so far. Four of them. But they weren't as big as your words. What were some of those great words you did earlier? What, what was it? And that disestablishmentarianism, what, one of my favorites, and it has an M in it. Any more you remember? Onomatopoeia. 
those are such good words. So I only picked out those four for you tonight. So to be here with my longtime bud, Rabbi Hayon, who is rarely referred to as bud, and with my co-conspirator, Rabbi Silk, we'll never reveal our secret mission. With my New York ordained, where have you been since May, Rabbi Fixler? Well, we all know he moved to Texas just in time. With Rabbi Walter, my office behind the beam, a music enthusiast. With Jeff and all y'all with whom I enjoyed such a fulfilling high holy day season way back in 5777. And of course, our honoree tonight, Cantor Rollin Simmons. What could be better than to be here on this luminous Shabbat Hanukkah? You know, it occurred to me that Hanukkah is about the rededication of an ancient sanctuary, and this installation is about rededicating a relationship, the seeds of which were planted when Cantor Simmons first came to interview here, and the harvest of which began in July, continues to this day, and will shine ever more brightly as you and she grow together in song, learning, and life. How cool is that? Cool, right? Okay. I've been thinking about when I first met Cantor Simmons. She was Rollin then, which I think is still true. I was in New York with my friend Connie Duffner, and we were looking for a student Cantor for our small congregation with a familiar name up the road from here a ways. We may or may not have had any idea what we were doing. So this rising senior in the Debbie Friedman School of Sacred Music at HUCJAR completely touches our hearts, and before you know it, there she is going back and forth on the shuttle to Dallas, connecting deeply with people of every age, singing like an angel, teaching through who she is with graciousness and poise. We were wowed. For me as a cantor, the whole year was one of rich discovery as I came to experience our musical world through Rollins' spiritual eyes. A year capped off by her remarkable senior recital in which she invoked music of meaning and relationship to express unity among people whose differing faiths became more brightly radiant in one another's presence, just like the many colored candles of a Hanukkah. And finally, the special occasion of ordination, as Cantor Simmons was blessed before the ark of another Emmanuel in the city of New York. Those were some good days. Our friend Rabbit, Rabbi David Siegel was there then, I remember. We were admiring Rollin and David's wedding photos with my wife, Marcia, the four of us communing over a dinner. They're great photos. You should have seen their wedding. Okay, you don't want to hear all about the wedding, but it was beautiful. And it was before, well, it was B.L., before Levi. And it was B.B., before B. And now, here's your precious family thriving in this place, bringing more and more joy and light to your immediate family, most of whom are here, and all of this extended family. So you can see I am completely for clamp. This is just too much. It's overwhelming. I guess you'd say I got to know Cantor Simmons pretty well during our time in Dallas, even after she became Cantor of the whole Rocky Mountains up in Aspen. We've been in touch regularly over the years, and I felt so privileged to enjoy this trusting, collegial relationship and enduring friendship, which has sustained me during some really important passages in my life. And that brings me to my main point. Who is this person with whom you're consecrating this covenant tonight? I bet you have that pretty well figured out by now, but just in case, here's how I see it. Cantor Simmons is a superior musician whose mastery of her craft makes it possible for us to feel the nuance and the exaltation of song. She is an eminently gentle presence in times when we look to her for support and kindness. She is entrepreneurially creative, bringing new music into the world and invigorating concerts, programs, and learning with innovation and artistic skill. She is innately prayerful, 
helping us to connect more vibrantly to the prayers that we find within ourselves. She brings people together. What could be more evidentiary of that than this very evening? Understanding that spiritual pursuits are essentially relational ones, drawing us into her world and into one another's to find common purpose and joy. She is profoundly versatile. I remember singing in one of her transformative concerts, and as her solos came and went, I kept thinking, how can one person be so at home in all these different kinds of music? And yet, it was so. She is the true embodiment of a compassionate heart while also being manifestly principled and resolute. She is endearingly human and honestly, she just wants to be with her community, family, friends, and colleagues in wholeness and in safety. Isn't that a yearning we all share? So it's the most natural thing in the world to consecrate Rollins Candorate in Houston as a celebration of the Emmanuel community where we seek to dwell together in God's presence, Immanuel, God with us, feeling God's spirit resonate among and between. A short teaching then for this Sabbath of light during the festival of lights. During Kabbalat Shabbat, the welcoming service for Sabbath, we sometimes sing words from Psalm 97. Or zarua la tzadik uli lev simcha. Light is sown for the righteous and for the straight of heart, joy. What does this mean? Rabbi Moshe Chaim Ephraim of Sadiqaf, grandson of the great Hasidic master, the Baal Shem Tov, gets at it this way. Teaching on a passage from Deuteronomy that describes the laws and rules of the Torah as if they were tzadikim, righteous ones, he turns to our Kabbalat Shabbat verse from Psalms. Light is sown for the righteous and for the straight of heart, joy. And this is what he says. What this means is that the Holy Blessed One takes some of the light of God's very own being and sows, that is, plants like seedlings in the soil, that very light into the world. From that light, a righteous person sprouts up Abraham embodied the light of daybreak, clear and white. Isaac embodied red light. And then also all the other wise and insightful righteous ones in every generation, women, men, and children. In this same way, there are righteous ones who embody one particular light of one particular mitzvah, which itself contains all the 613 mitzvot. A righteous person comes into the world and lights it up. And each of us, each one, does so in her or his own way. Our work will be according to the light from which we were created. The light of Torah, the light of tzedakah, the light of welcoming guests, all different kinds of mitzvot. A mysterious teaching that God's light is right within each of us, and from it we are created, each of us radiating different hues like brightly colored menorah candles. And our particular radiance contains within it all the other shadings of light, all of the possible mitzvah energies. And these lights sing and dance with each other, animated by the one light the Holy One from whom they arise. We are those lights. Yes, every single soul in this room and those not here tonight who are part of this Emmanuel family. The deepest privilege for which a clergy person could ever hope is that by offering her special light to a community, all the other lights might shine more brightly and that by the communities offering your special lights to her, her soul might grow ever more brilliant in return.
This, then, is our prayer, that in this new and holy relationship, you, the people of Emmanuel, and Cantor Rollins Simmons, will illumine God's presence revealed in one another so that light and warmth and joy will increase in this special place and in all the hearts who call it home. Oh, <laughs> We can all sing that. Once again and faster. Now the clergy are going to distract Cantor Simmons while I teach you three words. Ken, ye he, ratson. Everybody say that. Ken, ye he, ratson. And I'll bet you can sing it like this. Can ye hear a tune? Rehearsal. Can ye hear a tune? So we'll sing. Don't tell her. And then we'll go. Can ye hear a shine down upon you and be very sweet and gracious to
May God's presence be lifted up to you. May you be blessed with God's gifts of wholeness, goodness, and peace. As a cantor, Shabbat involves cue sheets and rehearsals, time for planning and coordinating. Sometimes it's hard to remember that Shabbat is about rest. Friday arrives, and I have to admit that sometimes I think, oi, it's Friday again. But then I step onto the bima, and I pick up my guitar, and I start to sing, and something changes in me. The weight of all the logistics lifts, and all that is left is the music. I look out and I see people smiling and singing along, and suddenly I am filled with joy, except when my daughter falls down. Shabbat has arrived, and I am grateful for it. You'll be okay. <laughs> I am so grateful. I am on an incredible journey, and there are so many people here in this room tonight who have been a part of it. My amazing parents, who taught me and molded me, and who schlepped to see me wherever I may be, Italy, Israel, New York, Aspen, and now Houston. My husband, David, on his way out, <laughs> who is my partner and my best friend, my beautiful children, Levi and B, who will appear later, who reconnect me to wonder and imagination. My Houston family, who generously help us and love us every step of the way. To Cantor Richard Cohn, I am so thrilled to have you here tonight to share this FEMA and today with me. Cantor Cohn became my mentor back in Dallas when I was still in school and continues to coach me and keep me grounded. My dear friend Leonard, president of the Aspen Jewish Congregation, where I held my first job as an ordained cantor and where I built up my repertoire of skills that prepared me so well for this new adventure. And to you all here at Emmanuel, to my awesome clergy team, Rabbi Hayon, Rabbi Silk, Rabbi Fixler. I am grateful for your inspiration, your support, and your caring. Stephanie and the Healthmen team, <clears throat> I am honored to partner with you to provide extraordinary Jewish education. To Paula and the Becker team for your nurturing care of all the little ones, especially my little ones. To David, Jason, Donna, and the entire staff for all of your hard work making everything happen. To Jeff and all of the board for your leadership. To the planning committee for this weekend, thank you for all of your dedication and hard work. And to all the musical folks, our stellar Shabbatons, Barbara, Julie, Dee Dee, Greg, David, Mike, and those who weren't here tonight. 
to our accompanists, Anne and Yanina, and to our adult and youth choirs who lift us up with their beautiful voices and sweet spirits. This weekend serves as a model of my vision for music at Emmanuel, with voices of all ages singing with spirit, with enthusiastic instrumentalists enhancing our worship. Tomorrow night, you will meet Alana Arian, a rising star in the world of Jewish music, and the first of many special musical guests that I hope to bring to Emmanuel. I envision music at Emmanuel as a broad spectrum of experiences, from fun and rocking, to peaceful and meditative, to thought-provoking and inspiring, bringing together tradition and innovation. I want to encourage everyone in this community to let it shine. To all of you here tonight, I am grateful for you. I am so proud to call Emmanuel my new home. I'm looking forward to learning with you and singing with you as we grow together from strength to strength. Shabbat Shalom and Happy Hanukkah. Friends, just a few quick announcements before we move toward the concluding prayers of our service together. We hope that everyone will stay with us at the end of our service tonight so we can say Kiddush and Motzi together as a community before heading into Feld Hall for tonight's extraordinary Oneg Shabbat. I want to express my gratitude to the sisterhood for having provided the challah and wine for our blessings tonight. There's details about all sorts of exciting upcoming events in your Shabbat handout, so I'll let you read those for yourselves, just a couple of highlights. Um, and I want to add my gratitude to the cantors, to everyone who put in hard work and love and time to make this weekend a, a reality. Our weekend of celebration will continue tomorrow night at 7 p.m. for the musical concert that will combine the talents of Cantor Simmons and Alana Arian. We can still offer you tickets for sale at the door. We hope that you will join us. It's going to be a terrific evening of song. Um, we'll look forward to seeing you there. Finally, as I mentioned, tonight's Oneg Shabbat in Feld Hall following tonight's service. The Oneg will feature lots of latkes made by our Emanuel community and some other delicious treats. So we hope that you will come and celebrate with us there after we conclude here in the Bear Sanctuary. And so now I'll invite you to turn to page 282 in your prayer books. At the bottom of the page, you'll find the words of Aleinu L'Shabeach. Would you please rise? Aleinu L'Shabeach, page 282. Aleinu L'Shabeach l'adon hakol La tet kedula liot seher breishit Shelo asanu kegoye haaratzot Velo samanu kemishpechot adama Shelo sam chelkenu kahem Vigor aleinu kechol hamonam Vanachnu korim umishtachavim umodim Lifne melech Malachi Hamlachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu, page 287. The Nehemar, the Adonai, the Melech Al Kol Haaretz, by Om Hahu, by Om Hahu, Ihe Adonai Echad, Ushemo, Ushemo. Before our Kaddish together on page 291, this reflection about the lights of memory. There are stars up above. So far away, we only see their light long, long after the star itself is gone. And so it is with people that we loved. Their memories keep shining ever brightly, though their time with us is done. 
The stars that light up the darkest night, these are the lights that guide us. As we live our days, these are the ways we remember. And so now our thoughts turn to those who have departed the earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. On this Shabbat, the hearts of our community go out in sympathy and sadness to the family of Ann Nadler, who was laid to rest in recent days. And we may add these names as well, the names of those whose yard sites fall this week. Together we remember Albert Alexander, Sanford Arsham, Albert Beck, Sylvan Brandon, Serena Brooks, Ruth Brown, Abigail Rosa Bueno, Reba Cantor, Sam Cohen, Thelma Cohn, Joe Dante, Marcia Davidson, Gerald I. Jumbo Davis, Annette Davis, Fanny Eisen, Gerald Jerry Epstein, Jacob Evans, Ben Feenberg, Nason Mark Feldman, Louis Bennett Fenberg, Irene Byron Fine, Dorothy Fisher, Samuel Goss, Florence F. Gates, Edna S. Goldgain, Bessie Goodman, Jay Goodman, Joe C. Goot, Elaine Ute Greenberg, Morris H. Greenfield, Hilda F. Grossberg, Sarah Grossman, Marvin Hertz, David Jacobs, Donnie Jacobson, Oscar Janowski, Lorraine Joseph, Jenny Karen, David S. Kaufman, David Edward Kasdan, Stacy Kogan, Seymour Kovnat, Charles Lyston, Barry E. Levine, Nathan Lewis Levy, Dorothy Finkelstein Lewis, Paul Lipnick, Julie Madavi, Kenneth S. Markowitz, Louis E. Mayer, Sylvan Mellinger, Fanny Myron, Jacob Mormon, Jerry Motley, Frederick M. Mike Nackman, Julius Nathan, Otto Nathan, Hyman Newar, Peter Oshman, Meyer Patent, Arlene Paul, Myra Perrin, Joe Pearl, Sylvia Presser, Joel Reisman, Sidney Cole Rhodes, Aaron S. Rosenthal, Francine Greenfield Rosenthal, Sheldon Rosenthal, Evelyn Rauch Rubenstein, Ruth F. Rubenstein, Adele Salvin, Sonia Schnoll, Goldie Schnoor, Helen Shirley Schwartz, Sarah Sherman, Sam J. Schneiderson, Marion Siegel, Leah Ray Stepanoff, Anna Stoner, Sigmund Strauss, Abe Tartak, Eva G. Totter, Elsie Tenenbaum, Elaine Tenenbaum, Marvin H. Wallach, Martin Warren, Rose Flaxman Wise, Abraham Wirch, Sarah Elizabeth White, Sam Wilk, Bernice Wilkenfeld, Jesse Wilkenfeld, Eunice Landy Wolf, Madeline Liebman Wolf, Marcial E. Wolf, Bess D. Yellen, Iris Zeitler, and Irving Zlotnick. The memory of all the departed are with us as we rise together now for the recitation of the Mourner's Kaddish on page 294, page 294. Yitgadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah be'alma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute v'chai echon v'yom echon v'chai echol beit Yisrael v'agalau v'zman kari v'imru amen yehe shemei rabah mevarach le'alam ulolmei almaya yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpaar v'yitromam v'yitnase v'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal shemei dekudsha v'richu Leila min kol birchata v'shirata, tush b'chata v'nechemata, da amiran be'alma v'imru amen. Yehe shlam maraba min shemaya, v'chayim aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. Ose shalom v'imru amen. Hu yaase shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us and to all Israel, to which we say, Amen. You may be seated. So I would like to invite up my youth choir one last time. The words of this last song, Ocho Candelicas, are in your handout. We're going to be counting the Hanukkah candles in a language called Ladino that comes from when the Jews were living in Spain. It's a combination of Spanish and Hebrew. So I hope you'll uh, join, join us in counting. And if you just have to get up and dance, that's okay. All right. Hanukkah, Linda, Saki. 
As my clergy colleagues and friends join us on the Bema, we move toward concluding this service and moving to the celebration that will follow with the blessings of Kiddush and Motzi, giving thanks for the joy of this Sabbath Eve. And where Rabbi David Siegel, if you're able to join us, you and B and Levi are invited as well, so they can get first crack at this challah. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Peri HaGafen. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kishanu B'Mitzvotav, Veratz Havanu. Beshabbat Kodesho, Beahava Uvratzon, Yimhilanu. Zikaron lemaase vereshit, ki hu yom tehila lemikra e kodesh, zeicher itziat mitzrayim. Kivanu vacharta, beotanu kidasha, mikola. Baruch Atah Adonai Mekadesh Ashabat Lechaim Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam HaMotzi Lechem Min Haaretz as Levi and B tear into that hollow, would you please rise for one final moment of blessing? Almighty God, on this Shabbat Hanukkah, we thank you for the light within. We thank you for the light that guides us on our way. We thank you for the strength that each of us seek to find our own light and let it shine. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Una candelica, dos candelicas, tres candelicas, cuatro candelicas. Do you need a linebacker or are you still? No, oh, no, I'm good.